G'day cocktail lovers. This is called an Anchor Heart. It is in the Daisy family of cocktails. The most famous of the daisies is probably the Margarita, if you're not sure what that is. A daisy is essentially, it's a quite old style of cocktail. It's a sour cocktail with additional sweetness from a fruit liqueur. In the Margarita, that's some orange liqueur. It's also orange liqueur in this one, but a very different spirit base going into it. I'm just going to give it a quick taste before I run you through some of the ingredients. And it is a little bit reminiscent mm. of a margarita actually, but very much its own thing. Oh, and it's just a little bit of smokiness here. Spoiler alert, there's some peated whiskey in here. Really like how this is coming together. Let me run you through the ingredients. The base spirit in this is Genoa. And that is an older style of spirit. It's actually the precursor to gin. It's a more malty base, and the English really got into it. It was a Dutch drink. And eventually the English did their own variation, neutral spirit based, that we come to know and love as gin. And Geneva as a name is one of those things protected under EU rules. It can only come from certain areas. This is an Australian version of it. It's from the Never Never Distillery, one of their dark series. This is some of their more experimental limited releases. And because they can't call it Geneva, they cheekily call it Jennifer as in the girl's name, which I think is quite cute, but it's actually really good. I got it because all their other limited releases have been very good, but uh, now I have this, I don't need to go searching for Geneva, which is actually quite hard to get in Australia. As I mentioned, it does have an orange liqueur as well. I'm going to use my homemade blood orange liqueur, uh, which has lasting me quite a while and is very tasty. I'm quite enjoying this. In terms of taste, this probably is a bit more like Grand Monnier. I get a little cognac vibe from it, even though there's no cognac in it. It's a, an Everclear equivalent, a Polish spirit, it's like 95% alcohol. I used to extract the flavor and color from blood orange peel, and then a whole bunch of mixing and diluting because I can't have that strong. It's probably still considerably stronger than uh, the average liqueur but it's really tasty and I'm gonna use this. And there's just a bar spoon of peated whiskey. I'm using a Talisker 10 year old because that's the only peated scotch I have. And uh, it's interesting, just that five mils is really noticeable from the aroma to the taste. I love when you bring a drink up and you just get a little waft of smokiness. Not overpowering, but it's there and I quite like it. Let me show you how to make it. In a shaker, we put one and a third ounces or 40 mils of Genoa then two thirds of an ounce or 20 mils of orange liqueur, half an ounce or 15 mils of lemon juice, a third of an ounce or 10 mils of honey syrup, just around a bar spoon or five mils of peated whiskey, and then we want to foam it. You could use egg white, aquafaba, I'm doing a couple of drops of Wonder Foam, and to make the flavors pop, I'm adding three drops of saline solution. Add ice to the shaker, I'm shaking these longer than I normally would a shaking cocktail because I want it really foamy, about 20 seconds worth of shaking and then I'm gonna strain it into a chilled coupe. And for a garnish, I'm going to spritz some orange oil over it and just put a coin of orange peel on the foam. Given this is a very similar makeup to a margarita, if you like margaritas, I think you'd appreciate this as an experiment. It's got quite a different flavor profile. Geneva and tequila, not very close flavor-wise at all, but I really like how this has come together. And particularly if you like the mezcal in your margarita, just that little bit of peated whiskey has given it that smoky edge. And I think it works really well. And you might enjoy trying it. Let me know if you do. And hey, do take care of yourself, wherever you are. I do hope to see you again soon. Until I do see you again, I will say, cheers.